George Tandy Jr., singer-songwriter from Virginia. I live in Miami now. I just love doing music. I'm a kid at the keyboard, love music and people. The son of two musicians is Florida-based songwriter, singer, and multi-instrumentalist. His first single, I don't even have to say the name, but it is climbing of the Billboard charts. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you please make some noise for George Tandy Jr. My whole family, musicians or just passionate music lovers, so uh, my dad is a jazz keyboardist, a producer, and crazy entertainer on stage, and my mom's a vocalist. Both sets of parents are just like music all day, every day, so I was pretty much born on the stage. Yeah, uh, this is my vibe, beach side, grilling up homies and high fives. Women everywhere, loving the night sky, swimming up, flip-flops, drum circles, and fly flops. When I moved from Virginia to Miami, I was introduced to the freestyle, b-boy, hip-hop, dance scene, and um, I was fascinated by it, uh, and I was encouraged to at least just try it. I had rhythm, so I was just like, alright, let's see how this goes, and I took my first class, and then I just fell in love with it. You ever been to Miami? Jamaica's been cool, cause I don't know where the wild wild star is. My mom always tells a story about how every time we're around like bass hitting like in some sort of concert or something like that, did you hear that right there? That's the reason you were born early. She was pregnant while she was singing with me. Settle down, just settle down. I'm not supposed to come around you. Know your scar, know your jacket. George is probably one of the most balanced out of everybody. He's also the oldest. If you were to follow on a family like for a day, you would see the different personalities. Like you got Katrina who's like super excited, like a strong personality, like eccentric. She's a character, you know, the character. Richard, he's like a caricature where he's just extremely funny, goofy, like the funny guy. I was always encouraged when another artist would come out from Virginia and be like, see, see, told you. Like, I'd be like, see, we have it here, you know? Like when, uh, you know, obviously, Missy and, and uh, Pharrell and Timberland and you know, when they were out, I was like, oh man, this is amazing. You know, they're from where I'm from and specifically Virginia Beach. You walked right into the interview room and you're holding up this love is the music of the soul, of the soul. Explain this song for me. I feel like this is very accurate and a, a good friend of mine gave it to me and I feel like music doesn't lie, love doesn't lie. I guess most people wouldn't know that I have uh, pet turtle named Puppy that I call a mini dinosaur. That's kind of different. Uh, an obsession with peanut butter and jelly. You and me, you and me belong, you and me belong together. March is a special song. It started, it was a very organic process. I was just sitting at the keyboard, just kind of vibing, just like, oh, that's nice. You know, that feels good. The original, I recorded the song multiple times, but the original version of the song had a very heavy back beat to it, and it was a very militant back beat. It was heavier than the version of this album. And I was just kind of like, it's like March. Just kind of whispering March. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna make this, these chords that sound real sexy and like romantic match up to this idea of marching. And then um, I was able to restructure it, and I just started to think about how many different ways we as human beings march in life. As I was writing it, I was realizing that, you know, our relationships are kind of dependent on each of us facing our lives honestly and overcoming the obstacles. So I was like, all right, this is what I'm going to do. During the verses, we're going to talk about the romance. During the chorus, I'm going to make it very kind of uh, open so that anybody can apply any situation to it. As far as the visuals, my team, uh, Red Star Entertainment, and uh, uh, the director's name is Bully, the Bully, we got together and we had a whole bunch of ideas, so we just threw them all in. And um, it was really important for us to uh, represent the song in all of the different ways, or at least as many of the different ways as possible from the feedback that we were getting. So it was like, some people would come up and be like, you know, uh, I'm a single parent and it's really rough, you know, so and to feed my kids and stuff, so like that's the first shot, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, obviously the romantic thing. 
between two couples trying to keep it together and trying to keep an element of dignity there you know the there's always that question when should we become sexually active together so like that's the first line of the second verse and it's just kind of like it's pointing towards like how can we uh, just keep an element of dignity and perseverance in our relationships and then it goes on to sh uh, show visual to the civil rights movement which is very appropriate and I think some of my older friends uh, or advanced in years they, they're like you know that just reminds me of some of the stuff that we went through so I'm happy that it turned out the way that it did it it kind of covers all bases. It was my first time at Essence period so for my first time being there being asked to perform that was an honor within itself and then just the energy from the crowd like the crowd was even the people that weren't familiar there's so many people there, you're gonna end up by a stage no matter where you walk, stumble. So they stumbled by my stage, it was this kid, you know what I'm saying? And then the, just the energy that I was getting as the, as the show went along was just amazing. I call this alternative because uh, I'm acknowledging the soul and the R&B elements of the music and the jazz and all that stuff that, I, that I'm influenced by, but I'm also leaving myself a little space to experiment with different sounds and stuff like that, which I think from an artistic perspective is healthy. It's good music, it's meaningful lyrics, it's uh, chord progressions. I think maybe for a little while that was missing, you know, meaningful lyrics, chord progressions, uh, impactful music that takes you on a journey, rises and falls and silences. The stuff that, I, that I'm moved by. So since I'm the new kid, I guess the industry's been missing what I'm here to contribute. I will do you right. I kind of feel like if it makes a sound, I can figure it out. Um, I was that kid who was beating on the table and making beats and stuff like that, getting on everybody's nerves. So uh, I play keyboard. I just picked up the acoustic guitar. When I first decided to be a solo artist, I think my approach is going to have to be one that feels timeless because I'm not really sure when this is all gonna pop off for me because of what I'm trying to do. I'm telling you, it's just the beginning. I got so much music in me. It's just the beginning. It's called The Foundation because nothing lasts without a strong foundation. You know, if you wanna be literal architecture, there's nothing, nothing stands and stays without a strong foundation. And it also represents the relationships that I've built with people on this journey. The last thing it represents is uh, that soul part in the R&B, the stuff that I'm acknowledging in my music, the stuff that influenced me. It's the stuff that influences all other types of music, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this first album is going to be something that I'll be able to stand on for a while. George wasn't necessarily just like gifted with like just like a natural voice, like he trained himself. Tell me how do you your love goes? Yeah, yeah. One of the major influences, if not the most major influence for me as far as creating my own music was the spoken word scene. It's just them and the mics and then the, all the expression and um, the pitches and their delivery felt like melody to me. So I was like, if I can take some of that and my obsession with chords and, and uh, rhythms and put it together, then I might have something and I think that's what I've done here. Yeah. 